guys, what's going on? Iburn here, and I'm going to do a drawing video for you guys. I feel like maybe I should do something different, and I'm sorry, I'm just uh, working my camera here. I got to use my phone to do this, but um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to try and do a drawing video for you guys. Now, I have my headset on because I'm going to try and use the mic, but I don't know if it actually will use it. But um, in any case... This is going to be somewhat of a tutorial, somewhat um, of a, just a drawing video, you know. Um, so uh, hopefully it doesn't go too long. I'm going to try and not make it too long. Hopefully it doesn't go to a 14-minute limit or something like that. But what we're going to do is, and if you guys don't know, I mean, it's obvious, you know, who this is. Just I'm just kidding. But uh, this, this is Ariel, um, and... Uh, this is what you would call uh, emo fied, I guess. I don't really know. I mean, that's the general term of it, or punk, uh, punk aerial, I guess you could say. But in any case, she has piercings all over her face. She has makeup. Uh, she has different hair and all that kind of stuff. Um, but anyways, um, obviously, I can't really show you guys uh, how I did the outlining of the face and how I colored her eyes and all that kind of stuff but I can I can share a little bit I can share just a little bit because what I want to do today is I want to get somewhat of her hair because um, what I'm going to do is and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here um, these these little swoops that you see here these these swoops I'm gonna make those black because her hair her hair is going to be a natural blonde it is going to be a blondish is going to be a blonde um, so, I'm sorry, I don't know why the heck I said blonde so much. In any case, her hair is going to be blonde, and I'm going to have black and blue streaks in it. Now, there's not going to be as many blues, and there's not going to be as many blacks. Well, there might, well, actually, there might be more blacks than blues. But in any case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, and I don't know if you guys can see this, I'm going to zoom in again on that same area, but there are Z shapes right here. And those are going to be our blues, and then the the then just like the regular swoops, are going to be our blacks. And I'm sorry that I have to keep moving the camera, but and I'm using my phone. So, anyways, um, so I'm going to show you guys a little bit of me doing this and um, and all that. So, um, now there is no real technique to doing this or anything. You can use whatever you want. Um, you can use whatever pen you want. I prefer the Micron 03, Micron, just the regular, or just the Pigma Micron pens because they're really awesome. They are really good for doing this sort of inking style. And um, you can get these kind of pens at any craft store, Michael's, Arts and, Arts and Craft Store. You can get them anywhere. Um, and no, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not, you know, in any affiliation. I'm just doing a shameless plug here. But... In any case, I'm going to do some of her f of her follicles right here, these these swoops. I'm going to do them in a Micron 05. And the reason why is because a Micron 05 is a little bit thicker. Now, you don't have to have a Micron 05. You can have, for example, a Sharpie, like a Sharpie fine point. Well, technically an ultra fine point because, and I'm sorry that you guys cannot tell, but this, um, but I mean, because my cam, my phone doesn't focus on things. But this has the same tip, same size tip, as a Micron 05, maybe even smaller, maybe even just a little bit bigger than a Micron 03. Let me check here. Yeah, it's it's just like it's it's like the Micron 04. It's basically what that is. It's it's the Micron 04 is what a Sharpie Ultra Fine Point is. So, if you guys don't have the money to get a, um, to get uh, all these pens, and there's only three of them, but if you only have like a certain amount of money and whatever, you don't want to spend a lot, you can just get the Sharpie Ultra Fine Point, and you should be fine. But in any case, I'm going to use the Micron 05, and I'm just going to, um. I'm going to zoom in here on her ear because there's one swoop right there. And I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Can I zoom out a little bit? There we go. I'm going to pull you guys back so you can see a little bit more. Sorry, you guys are on a cardboard box. You're on a flip-flops box. 
In any case, um, oh jeez, I'm pulling pulling it out of frame. I'm sorry. Okay. So, anyways, so this little strand right here, this little strand, we're gonna make this black because I don't want to make it black with like a prisma color because if I make it black, then it might blend with the with the yellow that I'm gonna use for her blonde hair, and I don't want that to happen. So all these strands here that I'm that I'm doing. Um, these are just like the regular curves in the hair. These aren't anything, these aren't the zigzags or anything like that. And again, I'm sorry that I have to keep refocusing the camera, but, um, yeah. So, and again, there is no technique to this. You know, you don't have to be a professional at inking or anything like that. You just got to know how to use a pen and how to use it right. And that's all I would say. So, but yeah, we're just going to go in here and we're just going to do do these strands here. And again, I am no professional. You know, I have my faults. Trust me, I have my faults when it comes to drawing and all that kind of stuff. Sometimes I get lucky. Like with this drawing, I got lucky, you know. I didn't have to do as much. Well, not like that. I mean, like, um, when I mean I got lucky, I meant like I, I didn't have to, like, pull out the light table and trace it and do all that kind of stuff because i have done that with past drawings and in the past so but um yeah so we're gonna pull back a little bit and we're gonna get this 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 little swoop here that i was talking about earlier and you know what i'm gonna try and turn this while keeping it in frame there we go and i'm sorry that if my face or anything gets stuck in frame because i kind of like to be close to where i am at the moment okay so now that we have some of those strands, and I know there there is more. There's there's more like over here. You know what? I'll get those too. I'll get these strands right over here. I mean, they don't really matter, but I mean, we can get them if need be. There we go. Get this strand as well. Get that fold. Um, are there any more? I don't think so. No. Okay. So. Now that we have gotten done with inking those, those strands for that matter, and we will probably, and I'm going to zoom out here, and we will probably um, do more with that in a later video. I will probably, like right now, I'm just going to show you guys on coloring the sides and all that kind of stuff. So bear with me for a moment. I'm going to go grab myself a Pigma or a Prismacolor. So I'll just be right back. Okay, sorry for the wait, guys. All right, we are back, and I have a little, I have a little paper sheet here. I keep this because sometimes you get, um, you get the pencil, the pencil shavings or the pencil lead graphite on on this side of your hand, and then you you put it on the paper, and then you start moving your hand around, and it just starts smudging it all over the place, and it's not fun. It's not fun. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in again. I'm going to attempt to try and get these strands here the the zigzag strands that I was talking about the z-shaped strands and we're gonna attempt to just get those in a blue and this was the blue that I was talking about it's somewhat like a neon blue now I know that this kinda looks more like a Crayola kinda thing going on here but just again bear with me this will work out it's just uh, right now I'm just gonna get the baseline color down and then I might come back through and get uh, my blender. And you know what? I'm just going to grab my blender right here. There we go. Got my blender. It's really, really small. Look how small that is. All right. Oh, shoot. Now I need my sharpener. Jeez, I am so sorry, guys. I am unprepared here. Okay. Now that we've got our blender, we can 
just sharpen up the pencil here. There we go. All right. Now, what do I what do I do advise? What do I advise when just doing these sort of things, just like coloring it in or uh, blending it? Um, don't do I don't know. Don't do like what some people might do, and like. Like, blend it all into one area, like circle blend. I don't, I would not recommend that you do that. I would recommend that you would blend it, um, however you want, you know? I mean, don't, don't hold yourself to doing it a certain way or to anything like that. Don't hold yourself to doing it like that. Just do it however you feel like it. Like, right now, I'm just doing it, just, you know, I'm kind of blending it, but I'm kind of blending it up and out, you know, just to give it like that sort of like sheen of it, like not just being like a single strand, like a single coat of blue in the hair. It's more of like faded in there, like a highlight, you know, something like that. And so, I mean, not to give it look of quote unquote realism, but eh, I mean, I guess it could. But in any case, we're going to get this other strand here. Now, I am running on 11 minutes, and I do not want to keep you guys here for very long, so I might finish this strand and then finish the rest of this on another video. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, now that we've got that, um, yeah. Okay. Well... Now that you've gotten, and if you, there you go, there you go, you can see some of that. So, this is the basic area of what we are going to do here. So, I will come back in another video. I'm just going to stop the recording and then uh, record another video. So, I will be right back, and um, thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned for the next video.